In today's video, we're going to show you how to install Windows Server 2025 on a Hyper-V virtual machine. Okay, so we're going to walk you through the complete installation process. So that's enough talking. Let's get going. All right, so I'm at the uh, Hyper-V console. Okay, so if you're using uh, Hyper-V, um, you'll used to see what this is, or you may be using SCVM maybe. Um, but on this instance, we're going to use a local Hyper-V instance, which is running um, on my Windows 11 23 H2 machine. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new machine. Okay, so I'm going to go to New Virtual Machine. Right, so I've already pre-downloaded um, the Windows Server 2025 OS. Right, so I'm just going to select Next. So Virtual Machine. So we're going to call this Server 2025. Okay. Um, and if you wanted to install the actual virtual machine in a different location, you, you set that here, but we're just going to keep uh, the default location for now. Um, we're going to select the generation, wherever you want it, Gen 2 or Gen 2, Gen 1 or Gen 2, sorry. So I'm going to select Gen 2, okay, because uh, we want to make sure we support um, all the latest features. Um, we're going to assign the memory, so um, we're going to use 4096, so that before gigs in memory. Um, with, with Hyper-V, you can use something called dynamic memory. Um, and dynamic memory means it will only allocate um, what it needs, right? So um, if I, for example, allocate like 64 gig um, and it only uses up 4 gig, then it will only use 4 gigs worth of memory. So um, always ticking that box um, just to make sure you're not um, using up all your memory um, when you don't need to be doing Configure networking. So we're going to uh, select a network connection, right? So this is just my default switch. So in a normal enterprise environment, you probably have different like VLANs and subnets um, that you can pick from there, but um, this is just a, a simple deployment that we're going to use um, and have one single network connection. Um, we're going to have a hard disk, so again, that's just going to be the location of my hard disk, So, and um, that's going to be 127 gigs. So, um, yeah, I'll keep that default. Um, Windows Server 2025 minimum, you only need like, I think it's 40 gig. Um, but we'll just keep that 127 for now. Um, when we create the machine um, using Hyper-V, it will basically um, only use what it needs. So it's not going to create 127 gig disk. It will only create expand as it needs to. Okay. Um, so um, we can probably take a look at that a bit later as well and see what that actually looks like. Um, installation options. So we're going to install it. So I'm going to select install from a bootable image file. Um, because I've already downloaded the ISO file. Uh, so I'm just going to select next. I'm just going to go to C and then I'm going to go to software. Um, and this is my server um, OS, which I've got here as well. Okay, so I'm just going to select OK for that. And then we're going to select next. And that's just going to basically going to give us a quick summary of what we're doing. So we're creating a server called Server 2025. Uh, generation 2, um, we're using 4 gigs in memory. And we're just going to use the default network switch and the hard disk is going to be in C program data, Microsoft Windows virtual hard disks. Okay, so just going to click finish. So that's creating everything that it needs. So you can see that was pretty quick. Okay, so we've got that. Um, so basically now we just need to go and fire up that VM, right? So I'm going to click start. Okay, so that's starting that virtual machine. And then what we'll do is we will connect to the console of the machine. Press any key to boot. So I'm just, oh, I've missed it. So sometimes you need to be like really quick uh, with these things. So I'm just going to uh, reset that and then we'll get it straight away. So reset. There you go. I've got it. Okay, cool. So this is giving us the, the setup options um, that we need. So we're just going to go to Windows Setup. So we're going to click Next. Okay. So now this is basically going to go as, uh, throw us into the uh, configuration screens for, for Windows Server 2025. Um, so we're just going to select some settings here. So language is just all English United States. So and then I'm in the UK. Um, so here, if you had uh, different time and currency formats, if you're different countries, you'd select them here. Um, so for here, I'm just going to go to United Kingdom. OK, I'm going to select next. Uh, keyboard method United Kingdom. So again, if you had a different keyboard layout, and this is where you would um, select that. So I'm just going to select United Kingdom. Uh, we're going to select next, and um, we're going to install Windows Server operating system. Okay, um, and then I'm going to agree to everything we deleted. Okay, again, this is a brand new install. So if you were doing a upgrade, for example, um, this is where, and this will become important um, because we basically you potentially wipe everything. Um, rather than do the upgrade. So 
Uh, but this is a brand new install, um, so we'll just go through um, here. So install Windows Server. I don't have a product key, um, so I'm just going to use I don't have a product key. Um, so you can have a, if you already have a product key, if you're using the volume licenses or something, and this is where you would edit it. Um, you can also use pay as you go option as well. Um, so that's using your as a subscription, um, which is quite cool. Um, but I'm just going to select the I don't have a product key option. Okay. All right. So it's going to go away and it's going to give us a menu screen. So let me just explain what, what the differences between these are. So um, you've got a couple of different versions of Windows um, based on features, right? Um, so um, you can have, have uh, 2025 standard um, or you can have 2025 data center. Okay, um, so we'll go through um, what the differences are. Um, I'll put them on the screen for you to see, um, and then you can decide which one you want to do. But for most like companies I work for, I work for like large enterprise companies, they're going to select data center. Um, but if you're quite a small company, um, you don't need all the features and you want a bit cheaper licensing, um, you may select um, standard. But as I said, I'll probably do a separate section um, as we discuss the, uh, the difference between standard and data center. All right, so I'm just going to go and select next. So, so the other thing to mention is um, you can see the here desktop experience. Um, so you could actually install Windows Server operating system um, using a minimal GUI install, right? And and the reason why you want to do that is if you had a lot of like virtual machines running and you didn't want to use up extra resources for the GUI, or you wanted to add a bit more security, um, because if you make stuff available um on the desktop then it's more likely uh, there's going to be an attack source there and um, so what some customers do is they'll use like the the no GUI mode um, and that will basically store less components it'll make the os lighter they won't use as much disk space and resources um but we're going to install the desktop experience um, just so you can see what that looks like okay all right so we're going to select next for that so we're going to get a few things ready so it's just asking us to accept the uh, software agreements so we're just going to click accept for that okay and then it's going to go through the install so it's seen the disk that we uh, that we created earlier okay so seeing that disk there with the unallocated space so i'm just going to go and select next okay <laughs> okay Looks like we're good to go. So it's basically saying, right, okay, here's a recap. Um, we're installing Windows Server 2025 data center with the desktop experience, and we're not keeping anything. We're completely wiping and the original operating system, but there is nothing here because this is a brand new install. Okay, and then we're gonna go select install. Okay, so we're at the product key screen. Um, I don't have a, a product key. Um, so I'm just going to select do this later. So if you had a product key, um, now will be a time to, to put that in. So we're just going to get that. And it's asking me for a password. So I'm just going to put a password in. Okay. And then we're going to select finish. Okay, there we go. We have installed the, the Windows Server operating system. So I'm just going to select Control Delete. And I'm just going to log on. It's asking me um, if I want to connect via the RDP. So I'm just going to select that. Okay. Uh, okay. And we are in. So we'll just go full screen just so we can show you the uh, full experience. So this is the first time log on um, onto the operating system. Um, and we'll see the new GUI experience. Um, so this thing is we want to select the diagnostic data, how much we want to uh, give to Microsoft. So most people are going to select required only, right? Um, so we're just going to use that select next accept okay and here we are so if you used to like server 2022 and server 2019 um you're probably used to this gui uh, but this will be using um a bit of a different view so probably do a separate video to do all the differences uh, but this is the uh the new updated um wallpaper that you can see there 
um, and then we've got the the menu and which looks a lot more like um, we saw with Windows 11 rather than Windows 10 uh, type menu um, and then we've also got this the same type of uh, start menu where we can look at all the different um, applications on there as well interesting that Azure Arc setups there um, by default so Azure Arc is a a definitely a way of Microsoft to go in around having to manage uh, kind of your environment so it's interesting that's got the predominant place um, so yeah everything's looking good um, we are installed so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video so we'll also have a quick look here and see what's actually new um, in Windows Server 2025. So I'll probably do a bit more in-depth um, article about this or, or a video. Um, so we've got um, accelerating networking features. Um, we've got in enhancements to the Active Directory Domain Services, um, which is quite useful. Um, what else have we got? We have Azure Arc. Um, so by default, Azure Arc is installed. So um, we saw that when we logged on to the operating system. Um, block cloning support, we've got Bluetooth um, support, we've got in server 2025, um, Credential Guard, which is great from a security perspective, um, so that's quite useful, um, desktop shell, um, so yeah, these are, there's a ton of features, but you'll be able to see, um, I'll, I'll, I'll put the link in, in the window, um, but yeah, there's probably too many features to go through, uh, but um, definitely big enhancement um, to the existing server operating systems and obviously using this you'll be supported for a few years um, to go yet so yeah I'll, I'll share this in the uh, description window uh, but definitely have a read through because uh, it goes through all the uh, new features that we're getting with Windows Server thank you for watching the video um, I hope you've you found it useful um, and then what we'll do is we'll do some further videos just to show into a bit more configuration um, about the the server 2020 operating system the new features and what it can do and the improvements that we've got over the server 2022 and, and 2019 as well all right so thanks for watching today's video and i'll see you soon for another one thanks bye bye